With only just over a week before the time limited adventure of Return of the Damned is over, I thought I'd make a quick tutorial for those of you looking to 100% the deeds. With that said, let's begin. Firstly, you're going to wake up feeling as rough as Duke's excessively wiped arse, and then you're going to go speak to Lorena to get the adventure started. You can start with either side of your choosing, and you're not limited to one or the other, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to start with Belle's path first. Now we wait patiently for Lorena to give us the first page of this new novel she's been working on, and after that you need to head to Shipwreck Bear to get started on the next chapter. Once arriving at Shipwreck Bear, we'll just need to wait a few moments for the storm to pass so we can hear what Belle has to say. I guess now would be a good time to like the video and hit that subscribe button. Both are completely free and really help out the channel. Now that the storm has moved on, we can speak to Belle. Make sure your whole crew is standing close by, otherwise you won't get the option to continue. After Belle has finished explaining the situation, you'll need to speak to her again to begin the next chapter. Trust me everyone, I've got no idea why this is a thing in order to continue the adventure, but just go along with it. Okay, so now we're on to the nitty gritty part of the adventure, but before you leave, you're best off grabbing the first of two of Belle's journals. Head back to the shipwreck of the Black Witch, climb the ladders, go to the back of the captain's cabin and around to your left to find the journal. You can of course now go to any fortress that is unclaimed or flying the opposition's flag, but for the sake of completing the deeds, you'll need the journal from Royal Crest Fortress, so it makes sense to just go there. When arriving at Royal Crest Fortress, you'll have to take out all of the Phantom's Waves before you can raise Bell's flag. I recommend using a loadout of Flintlock and Eye of Reach, but honestly just use whatever you are comfortable with. As long as it's not a Cutlass, because that's just inefficiency. At these fortresses, you'll encounter a Soul Flame Captain, which you'll need to defeat in order to bind its soul to a Bewitching Doll. You can defeat this guy before or after completing all the Phantom Waves, but he'll be a pest if you try to avoid him. Once he's defeated, he'll leave his soul behind for you to harvest. Continue on until you take out the captain of the fortress to get the treasury key, run at the top of the fortress, pull Bell's flag from the quest radial wheel close to the flagpole, and finally hold F to claim the fortress. Next you can grab the treasury key and open up the treasury. Inside you'll find a guaranteed bewitching doll. Take it back to where you ended the soul flame captain and use his soul to enchant the doll. Place the doll on your ship and feel free to hunt around for any remaining bewitching dolls laying around in the fortress if you wish. At some point, while here, make sure to grab the next journal, which can be found on the far side table in the fortress's bedchambers. Set a course for Shipwreck Bear to speak to Belle again, and enjoy the nice, glowy invitation for PvP. Once back at Shipwreck Bear, pick up your enchanted bewitching doll and enjoy a nice, uninterrupted stroll to Belle. Hand in the doll to complete Belle's path. And now it's time for the Reaper's path. The Servant of the Flame has set up a nice picnic in the front yard, so when arriving at Reba's hideout, he'll be chilling alongside his dad enjoying a couple of cold ones. Speak to him, with your whole crew standing close, to start the Reaper's path. Now that the Servant of the Flame has finished chewing off your ear, it's time to do the same thing we did with Bell's path. But firstly, you want to grab the Servant's journal here at Reaper's hideout. Run up to the right of the Reaper's tent, all the way out of the storage barrel that's accompanied by a busted up wooden box. In there, you'll find the first journal. The next journal is at Mercy's End's Fortress, so we'll make that our next destination. On arrival, get your loadout ready and pockets filled. It's time to take on some more phantoms. Kill the Soul Flame Captain, grab a Bewitching Doll, enchant it using the Lingering Soul, take out the Captain of the Fortress, raise the Reaper's Fort Flag, and finally, grab the last journal which can be found on a bench in the Mess Hall of the Fortress. Don't forget to grab your enchanted Bewitching Doll and set sail for Reaper's Hideout. You can now admire your Reaper Runner Beacon before someone takes it down later and you get all salty. Pull up to the dock of the hideout, hand Daddy's little worshipper his action figure to complete the Reaper's path. Open your adventure tab and you should be able to see all the deeds completed and your mementos all ticked off. I mean, it should. See your features, am I right? And honestly, if you don't have your adventure rewards, it is a bug and the team are aware of it and are working to fix it. And one final thing before we wrap this up, I just want to take a moment to let you know that just because you've completed all the deeds, the battle is not over. If you really want to make an impact for either side of the fight, you'll need to keep going to forts, raising flags, handing in enchanted bewitching dolls. You can do this by going to either Bell or the Servant of the Flame and clicking Replay Chapter. This will give you the flag to continue taking the forts. Just be aware that if you go to any of the forts, claim it and then hand in a enchanted bewitching doll, it will end the adventure and you will have to click on replay chapter again and that's it if you've got any more questions i'll be happy to answer them in the comments below until then happy hunting